everybody. Wow, we're here. It's eight o'clock on Sunday. I have a, a structure and um, a picture, I reckon, and some various cakes and bits, and I'm hoping I haven't forgotten anything. And um, I've not done one of these in ages, so ah, let's just get rid of that. I've not done one of these in ages and ages. Let me just check everything is running okay. So I've got 30 of you watching. How's everybody doing? I'm hoping at some point Facebook's going to show me the um, comments because it, it used to, but the last couple of weeks it doesn't seem to have done. So I've had to look at this a different way. Um, event log. Do you reckon it's there? Expand video. Just mucking about for a minute, guys, um, to see if I can pick up the comments. If not, I'll have to go to the other side. Oh, 70 people watching. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can find this live and then I can play with you guys. So as you will see, I'm going to have to do a structure with this one, which is really, really ridiculous to try and do in an hour. Let me just try and find the live. Hang on, guys. Mm -hmm. Wow, 32 comments. How have you done that already? Hang on, let's see if I can read them. That would be helpful. Okay, here you all are. Right, hello everybody, good evening. So, uh, hi Ben, Sue, oh, Maria, Sather Sue, uh, Mora, Morina, Morina, that Mora, for good morning. <laughs> hey, what? Have you been drinking or have I been drinking? Um, that's cool. So you can all hear me, can you? And you can all see me. Um, it's really annoying that this thing is now not giving me comments. Where do I get the comments from the inside? I don't know what, I, what it's just annoying. So I'm going to try reading from the outside and catch as many as I can. If not, as we said, as normal, I will scroll through. Hello, so I've got uh, Sonia. Um, oh, is that Lilau? Is that how you pronounce that? Uh, hi, Sean. Whoa, they're going so fast. Hi, Sue. Uh, Iris. The lives are back. They're just once a month, okay? Every Sunday, the last Sunday of the month, I'll do them. Um, they make me really, really anxious and really nervous, okay? So... That's why I put them to once a month. Good evening, Kathy. Good evening, Maria. We've got everyone, Carol. Um, and everything's going okay. Right. I'm trying to do <laughs> this is ridiculous, by the way. It's, I, was, I was putting it together and I was like, this is absolutely ridiculous. Because he, he needs a little structure, really. I don't think you could do it without a structure without his head wobbling off. So, unbelievably, I'm going to do this little structure. But here's a, here's a top note, okay? Um, good evening, Lucy. Uh, Elaine. Uh, oh, Nesma, is that right? Sunflower, beautiful sunflower, Nesma. Hello, first time you're joining the live. Yes, they are silly, I warn you. Hi, Sammy. Um, they're just a bit of silliness, but what I like about them is that they just show you that you can really power through this stuff and do it really quickly, and it turns out all right, you know, or, you know, probably like completely tempting fate by saying that. But I think what I'm trying to do by... Um, oh, bless you, Michelle. Uh, what I'm trying to do by doing these is to show you you can make stuff. You just it's it's it, I'm trying to push you over that pain barrier again by telling you that you can actually do stuff quite quick and that it's not the worst thing in the world. And if mistakes happen, they do, and we can fix them. Good evening, you Julie, and um, yeah, if I can do this, then you can do it too. I think that's what I'm trying to get at in in lots of too many words. Oh, I'll settle down. I promise. Right, so <sighs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, Laura is my top fan. Uh, Laura, is your finger okay? Um, she she cut off her finger with a, a ag bay earlier on today. As everyone knows, ag bays are evil. So you need to be really careful with them. All right, so here is a pre-covered board. Here's a pre-covered board, and there is a uh, wooden pole, and there's a little triangle on top, and that's going to make our raccoon. I think this is a baby raccoon, by the way. He looks quite cutesy, doesn't he? I don't think they get any less cutesy. But um, I think he's definitely a baby. It's worth noting if, if animals are babies or not because they're, they're slightly different. I have got one layer of 8 inch cake here and then I've got three layers of 6 inch cake and that's what I'm going to do it with. But first up, he's all the way over here, okay? Because he's on a structure, I have to have him slightly further away. So if I keep appearing and disappearing, then it's just because I'm trying to reach over here at the same time, okay? 
Um, and hopefully I've remembered everything. I literally just went and legged it to get some icing sugar because I was going, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, I've got no icing sugar. Um, oh, okay. Hang on. It's Facebook. There we go. Are you all still there? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, uh, we limit how often you can post, comment or do other things with given amount of time in order to protect the community from spam. Try again later. Okay, stop commenting. Stop commenting! Facebook doesn't like it! Oh, are you still there guys? I hope you're still there because Facebook's telling me it's it's limiting how I, there's too many comments. <laughs> uh, let me know, Everything everything's working, okay? Alright, I'm just going to crack on, okay? And then hopefully, hopefully it will settle down. Oh, Facebook, you are absolute pain in the backside. Mmm! Does this normally happen? Like on the other lives and stuff, it doesn't normally happen, does it? All right. We're here. Okay, Laura's telling me you're there. Okay. I'm not commenting. I don't know why Facebook's having a go at me. I'm not the one who's commenting. You guys are the one that's commenting. Slow down. <laughs> zip it, zip, zip it. Right, I'm going to get on before Facebook does something else weird. All right, standing up. Here we go. Nope, don't do too many comments, guys. Bloody hell. All right, here we go. So let's let's start working this up then. So the only other thing I want to tell you is that I'm going to do this with buttercream, right? Because there's no way I can ganache this in an hour. You are never going to do this with buttercream, okay? You are going to be good boys and girls and you're going to ganache it, okay? So, but I'm just going to do the buttercream to show you, but please, if you do do this, please do it in um, ganache. Okay, so I just need to pull off his head because we can't do it with the head on. I know if you're going to see random arms and stuff, but it is what it is. So I'm going to pull this head off so we can stack up. Oh. Whoever decided to do a structure cake in an hour. I try not to lose his head. Oh, mine. All right, so first one, the biggest layer. I've lost my raccoon. Oh, there he is. I'm going to put him up here. The biggest, chunkiest bits at the bottom. I'm just going over here. Ignore me if you keep disappearing. It's going to happen. And I'm going to cut out a square. I can't believe Facebook's moaning at me that we've got too many comments going on alive, for goodness sake. Mr. Zuckerberg needs to sort himself out. Here's the first one going on. One. Okay, and then we do a bit of buttercream in between the layers. I have a knife here somewhere. I'll be back with you in a second. I'm just over here. I'm basically going to stack this up until we get to his head. Do you know, PayPal did this to me the other day. PayPal froze my account. I think some of you know. So PayPal froze my account because they thought I was selling exotic animals and I, was, I, I sold too many orangutans and so they froze my account. And I had to ring them and explain that I wasn't selling exotic animals. All right, next six is going on. Let's see. And also, if you can get an orangutan for the price of one of my classes, I want two. So another square. Going through. Have you noticed this pole's going up near the back? The pole is not going up the middle because if you look at the picture, he's sagging forwards, isn't he? He's got like all the saggy bits coming forwards, and then like his back's coming up, isn't he? So he's sort of got his bottom half slouching. So that's why I'm stacking up the back. So you see, I'm not stacking up centrally. I'm, the pole is quite far at the back. The pole is basically his spine. This pole is going up his spine. Oop. Oh, this is most awkward thing. All right, second layer going on. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, there, I, I rang PayPal and there was this um, lovely, lovely Irish guy, and I don't think I don't know if he or I found it funnier. Um, and he actually had a look at my website and everything, and they had an amazing conversation with me after that about how I'd followed my dreams and made something amazing out of myself, and that he was doing the same thing and. 
So all his friends had told him that he wasn't to follow his dreams and that he'd never make it. And he said, but you're living proof that you can follow your dreams and make it. And I was like, yes, mate. Right, there's that one. I'm going to put the head back on at this point, I think, because I don't, I'm not going to have enough there. We might pack it in, but we won't need to do too much. So let me put his head back on, which I've lost. I will come back on your screen soon. Look, I'm here. Do you see? I'm here. You don't want to see me anyway, do you? Let's face it. So put his little head back on. So this is like a, a quarter of a pizza slice, okay? So it's triangular at the front. Triangular at the front and then round at the back like your pizza crust would be. Okay, I think what I'm going to do... Ooh, Laura puts chimpanzees in the oven, yes. But just be careful guys because um, Facebook are clearly watching us. How about a breath already? That's not good, is it? Ha! Oh, okay. Um, I've got a cheeky little gap here, which I don't really want, but um, I'm also going to narrow this bit down. So I think what I'll do is I'll put a bit of buttercream there. Sorry, going around this blooming camera again. And then instead of wasting the whole of another layer, I think if we carve off this chunk at the front, we can use that to pack in that little gap there, can't we? Oh, heck. Mm -hmm. So I think what we'll do, so this bit here is like where his legs are going to be, and then his legs, so the back legs that are curved around are going to be here, and then it comes, it comes back up. So if we take off this front bit here, and I get serious momentarily as she tries to work out what she's doing, I'm taking off that layer. And I'm taking off that layer. So I'm going to leave a little bit of this, okay? Because I want his legs to be just sort of chunking in a bit. Am I? Maybe not. Just a little bit. I'm trying to get a, a step down here. I'll come over your side. I reckon I can do it over your side now. Right, momentary focus. It won't last long, but let's try and get a bit of a shape going here. And then... But this is the front of his leg, there's a little foot coming in here. Now really, you've got his tail there, but let's put his leg in, let's put his legs in first, and then we can see what's going on with his tail. Okay, so this is going to be the little cheeky front legs coming out. Like this isn't awkward enough without trying to do it around a camera. So that's going there, we'll leave his back rounded. I think I'm going to bring this in a bit, just because we're always going to end up with ridiculous shoulders. And then out of those pieces we've cut off, let's jam in a little bit into this gap here, okay? So I'm going to have to go off camera again and get around to it. So there's two little chunks here. What's a good chunk? Probably only need half that. Mm-hmm. And as you can see, I treat cake very gently. And I'm going to jam that in. Uh, you can have one at the back, but you could also just ganache it in, okay? So that's our little guy's body shape, you see? So we've got the, the widest bit at the bottom coming up. These are his little legs. And then shoulders coming up. And then his little front legs will come down there. Um, I'm not catching any of these comments now. Are you just naughty? Are you just chattering to yourself? Do I have to behave myself? No, no, you can, you can be silly. A wooden dowel. Anyone need me? Wooden dowel. What is your huge sword called? Oh, this thing. Fred. Meet Fred. No, it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's just a PME one. I love it. You watch any of my, um, online tutorials you'll see me waggling this around like nobody's business and normally I get very close to my ear at some point um <laughs> yes it's just a wooden dowel there's nothing fun fancy with it I did think about doing a threaded rod but doesn't need it wooden dowel it's just to just give you a bit of support here otherwise you're putting your very small head on a body and it will just it'll just wangle off um I've just noticed that his chin comes out further than his neckline so all that work I put into putting that piece on underneath is rubbish look it needs to come up you need to be able to see his chin 
So he comes right under here because his chin is free floating. That's the whole point about putting the structure on it. Alrighty? Are we there? Alright, so let's pop his head on. Mm. I've never got enough time to do this. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, there. And then we need to cut two triangles. So I've got my last six inch, so that was one, two, six inches plus at half an eight inch. Um, if I was doing this for real, I'd probably start with uh, a ten and then do tens and eights because then you've got a better cake, a bigger size. Uh, this is a bit tiny for everyone, but you know, um, it'll, it'll, it'll do. I would never have been able to get it covered in time if I'd done, um, done anything else. Okay, so I'm going to copy that pizza shape, okay, so it's a quarter with a rounded back end, like is all. <laughs> I amuse myself. Okay, let's try it. I don't know why I've cut this in half, I'm just being a bit silly. But it's just you lot talking all the time. Uh, okay, here we, go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh no, I've done that bit. All right, so, whoop, there's this little head. Put a cheeky little bit of buttercream. That note that the cake is slightly bigger than the, your your MDF board there. Does Hannah use PME for all her carving? Is it sweated? Sweated? What does that mean? Is Fred sweating? I don't think it's Fred sweating. Okay, so there's there's your hedge gone on. Now, I feel like we need just a tiny, tiny bit more seriousness. Tiny, tiny bit more forehead. We don't need any more on the nose, but a little bit of a round forehead here. So um, you probably just grab a bit. Will that do it? That might do it. No, I don't use, um, I do use a smaller. Geraldine, if you watch some of my, in fact, you've done a course with me, so you know. But I have a small knife here too. If that one's Fred, is this one ginger? Is that how it works? Um, all right, here we go. Right, now I'm going to love a... Uh, no, God, I'm reading what you're saying. Now I'm going to cut a wedge. Okay, so this is the front of our nose, and it comes out, it's like a cheese wedge really, isn't it? To give him his nice little slanty face. Okay. Yeah. Oops, that's my... Oh, did she, do, did she mean serrated? Is that what sweated was? Serrated, that makes far more sense. Yeah, so I use a long serrated knife to get myself going. And then if I, if I need a small face or whatever, I might use a small one. But I like a long serrated knife. It's a bit like cutting your Sunday roast, isn't it? You get a nice smooth cut. I'm cutting his head there. So I made the wedge down to the front. Let's do a bit more. I'm just gonna ooh, just let it come in a tiny bit and then go out. All right, I think that'll do. Um, just come down the sides there. There we go. So that is him carved up. Mega fast, serrated. Yes. Hi Emma. I saw that name go past. Oh, Harlem Horses. Is your name Emma? Well, oh, it's been ages since I've seen you around, floating around. All right, so a bunch of cake over here now. So there we go. Did you see that? We've now got a, a, a kind of a raccoon fake body going on, and you saw how. So I just need to annoyingly buttercream this now. Again, when you guys get to this point, if you ever get to this point, then you're going to do this with uh, ganache, okay? But I'll just try and get it on as fast as I can. This is not going to be... Great fun doing this in buttercream, but I don't have any choice. So, talk amongst yourselves again, whilst I try and get this on. Again, I know I'm missing comments, it's just me here, there is no team. So, I will, well either, Laura will answer all your questions, because Laura knows everything. Um, she's like my right hand lady these days but alternatively leave your comments there leave your questions there and I will whoops I will come and answer them 
later on. So just getting the buttercream on, make it sticky. <sighs> just relax a little bit. You should have some music playing. Oh no, don't do not do that. That's against the rules, isn't it? Too many comments. Oh dear. All right, so he's getting his little buttercream coat. Again, I absolutely would advise you do this in ganache because you're running a structure. Oh, I'm just going to sort out this back. Now I can see it. You see he's all lumpy bumpy. Let's just get it running evenly. Can I put that on? So you see, because we've stacked up the back, rather than stacking up in the middle of the frame, he's slouching backwards now, which is good. So your pole doesn't have to be right in the middle. Your pole can be at the back of the structure. Your pole can be at the front of the cake, wherever it needs to be. So as you can see, I'm not treating the cake particularly gently. I think people worry far too much about cake, that it's going to somehow fall apart. As long as you've got a decent basic recipe going, it won't. When people hear the word structures, they get all freaked out, but look, this is a structured cake and it, it's dead easy. So, you really do have to give this stuff a go. You will genuinely surprise yourself. And then you'll become a god among normal people who will think you're some sort of genius. All right, so I just need to quickly buttercream in his head and then we'll move on. Oh, I've got to have to do this gently. This is why you want ganache really for his head. get that bit covered and just do the back of his head mm -hmm. all right uh, in your mind's eye this is now ganached okay All right, let me try and get, all right. Hello Katie, hello Kerry. My cat doesn't like the flamingo. Every time she jumps out of the chair, the flamingo bounces and she runs. That's another cake. I find a buttercream the head. Whoa, I missed that. What size dowel do you use for the structure? Uh, 18 millimeters. Uh, width, do you mean? Or height? Height, I don't know, I made it up. Um, eight, oh gosh. 25 centimeters, maybe, something like that. All right, it's gone as quiet as the dentist waiting room. Well, that's probably good. Too many comments. Okay, right, moving on. So let's put on a tiny, tiny bit of facial structure. So I'm just gonna put on, oh, I'll do it properly. If we run slightly past the hour, you'll all forgive me, won't we? 
just want to make his nose a bit rounder. I've run it off the end of the board, so this is slightly high risk, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, it would make any kind of bear. No, no, no. 12 bit. Oh, okay. Are you asking a different word? The MDF's 12 mil. Yes, that's right, Laura. The dial will be 18 mil. I didn't measure it, I just made it up. But. Um, if you print out your raccoon at the right size, then you can measure it and it will tell you how much it needs to be. I'm going to make them slightly pointier. And then I reckon we can just put some points down the side. Okay, uh, the reason why you said, yeah, buttercream is just too slidey. And um, remember, you're on a structure cake here. So his head's going to be quite wobbly with buttercream. Whereas you put ganache, it's going to be lovely and solid. I wouldn't do a structure cake without ganache. But that just genuinely isn't achievable in an hour because ganache is much harder to put on. And then obviously you have to kind of smooth it out and stuff, so. Alright, so I'm just putting on some little side bits so we can give them that triangly face. Alright, here's the toughy bit. Um, this will be much easier to do. Uh, I'll tell you what else I'm going to do. I really haven't got enough paste but I'm going to do it anyway is I'm just going to round off these bits here to give him slightly chunkier legs again if you were doing this and you wanted to do two eight inches you could round in that bit but it seems like an awful waste so I'm just going to do it like this and hope that I've got enough yeah 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 the ganache makes it steadier once you get into ganache you'll never go back it's just a you could have done this in cake actually I'm I'm because I'm thinking of my feet but you could always have built this up to get that kind of slight rounding on the front legs there, where his knees are. You could always do that in cake, of course. It would save you some money. All right, let's do it. I'm going to do a wrap round to get the body. The advantage I've got here, of course, is that he's very, very furry, so I can get away with a lot. Love the auto captions. Oh, have I got auto captions going on? Oh no, that means I'm evidenced forever saying Facebook needs to sort itself out. Oops. Oh, she's pushing the alarm. Okay. Yeah, so always try um, and feel a bit similar to Kate. One, because, you know, your people or your family or whoever you're making for, they like eating cake. But two, sugar paste is considerably more expensive than cake. I've got a load of cake off-cut here, so I could, could have just filled, filled them in, but... I just wanted to round off, give him knees, basically. Everybody needs knees, don't they? Here we go. So I've got to get this. Oh, I'm nervous, I've not got enough. So all you guys who have bought many, many courses in the 50% off sale, you, by the way, you have 40 hours left, but all of you guys who have bought are you going to make something this week? Let me sit down for a minute. I can see you all. Are you going to make something? It's really important. These courses are not jewellery. One does not buy them and just sit them on a shelf. One makes them. Okay? It's really part of the deal. So, set yourself some time aside. Don't tell me you haven't got time. And get making. It feels so good when you've made them. It really, really feels so good that it's worth it. And actually, once you get going, you'll roll through them really quickly. So, If you need any help on any of them, you know where I am. I've got the funniest shape going on here. I just wonder if I can cut it, because I don't really need it that much. What time is it? Half past. Uh, yep, yeah, Laura's making her chimp. Um, the sale should technically go on till the 1st. Now, my calendar tells me tomorrow is the 31st. So you have till... Sorry, back. Uh, 
you have till the first. Reason being is that the new donkey course is coming out at the end of the week, and obviously that can't be part of the sale because it's brand shiny new. It'll have its own, you know, early bird discount like they all do. But uh, yeah, I need to have the sale cleared out first. Right, what's the betting? What's the betting? Uh, yes, yeah, so the sale ends, I think, Tuesday at midnight. Yeah, Tuesday at midnight, I reckon. To be honest, I'm the keeper of the sale, but I need it out of the way before the donkey comes out, and you guys are asking for the donkey, so I need to get that going. Okay. I love the horse's head, but I hate that work going into it to cut it out. Oh, I love it. I love cutting it up, because... Then it's gone, isn't it? And you can focus on the next thing. We've got a wonderful art form where we don't have it hanging around. Like, imagine if you were a painter or a, you know, something else. You'd have these pieces of work stuck around forever. Now, I'm going to have to try and get this on, okay? I don't know if it's long enough. I don't know if it's wide enough, but we'll give it a go. Ready? One, two, three. I'm, I don't know. I'm going to go over here. Sorry. It's just too hard otherwise. All right, it's definitely long enough then. Give him a nice little blanket to try and wrap it at the back. Oh, that's good. Cover half his face as well. See, we were playing for a win tonight because he is textured. So there's that bit. I'm just going to come around here. Yeah. And it just I'm just gonna get a join running at the back. Not too much. See, because I'm doing some buttercream, it's very soft and sticky. All right, let's just square that up. Tuck him under. Around this side. Now then, he's gonna have two little feet here and then Two little feet coming here. So let's pop those on nice and quick so that when I blend it, it's easier to blend. Um, I need my tools out to do that. I'm just going to create little claws. Um, I don't know how many toes they have. Um, I'm just going to do that. I think there's... It sits up there somewhere like that, doesn't it? No dodgy comments, please. Um, the rest, the, his tail will go underneath. So I'm just going to make another one. Just, just, just chatting to yourselves, aren't you? Horse head. So I'm gonna do it again. I'm trying to do it so you can see, but there's limited to what I can do here. Okay, so a little pause, a little pause. Um, let's do the other ones as well. Whilst we're here, what level, <laughs> Laura? Well, I'm the difference is a new donkey. He's all right because he's a donkey. Okay, so that's purpose. <laughs> purposely why I did him as a donkey. Or if you wanted a Shetland, um, oh, if you wanted a Shetland pony, then that would work okay as well. Uh, but it's because they're furry. Okay, so that's why I did them furry. 
That's why <laughs> you lot are a nightmare. That's why I did uh, did a furry donkey because it just gives you that little bit of wiggle room. So whereas uh, a straight horse or a um, unicorn type thing, it's because it's there's nowhere to texture. If you do find yourself in a corner or you're struggling with a blend or something, it's a little bit difficult. Whereas um, with a donkey, or I was looking at someone on the group was posting about Shetland pony, wasn't it? I was looking and thinking it's very similar to the donkey isn't it same sort of head shape and stuff so either a donkey or a shetland you'd be fine so it's all right actually it's it's quite a nice course it's nothing you particularly need to worry about obviously you have to do a little cheeky structure but um you should all be into structures by now right i'm gonna text you from here because i'm knackered okay let's do it fertile as much texture as we can get in obviously i've got buttercream here so it's gonna beat me up a little bit but it's I can read comments there. Mary's saying she froze. Are oh, you all right, dear? Obviously, this is done at ridiculous speed. So you can spend lots of time making lovely, lovely fur. Let's bring his knees in. What tool are you using? These are my tools. Now, this one is the look at that airbrush this is the silicon end tool chisel tool and it's what i use for all the fur these are on the website they're still on introductory offer at the moment so 20 squids peanuts uh, i put a post at the top pinned post which has links to the website and has links to the group as well so if you're not in my sculpting group it's very funny in there it's very silly um, we muck about a lot Uh, it's nice and easy going and lots of people do lots of really, really cool sculpting. Sorry, just getting a bit personal with him. Oh, I'm so far away from you. For time's sake, I'm not going to texture his back because you can't see it. So I can pretend. So he's got his cheeky little rabbit feet. Trying to get some texture in here. So <laughs> something about being fertile. It's when your Facebook ads change to fertility clinics and stuff, and it's like, no, 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 I have plenty. I do not need any more. I do wonder sometimes how Facebook comes up with the things it thinks you want to know. I always think that when I'm researching a sculpt as well, so, so like I'm researching a cat sculpt or something, all my ads will go to, would you like to buy cat food? No. Would you like to stop your cats having fleas? No. Would you like to cremate your cat? No, because I don't have one. You want to be able to tell Facebook, don't you? It's like, I am not interested in this beyond researching it for a cake. All right, anyone else bored yet? Oh, just have a little sleep whilst we just finish texturing this. Mm, trying to get this blend in. See, my, the OCD side of me gets involved, even though I haven't got time for it to be involved. All right, all right. 20 minutes, no chance. Have you ever seen a really rare white raccoon? Okay. What was I thinking? Seriously. Uh, busted it. Alright, I'm going to put the line up there so it looks like his paws carry on. And they don't. The line in there. Ooh, I see lots of, hang on, Albino, just start practice, do it. Albino, Albino raccoon. Yeah, 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 that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no chance. Okay, cool, cool. Right, come on, let's get the head on. 
I can stop doing these little lies. There we go, Jeff. That's what I was saying. Albino wrecking. Now I'll get him done. I just might bust one hour slightly. I don't think it'll be too far off. Just do it. All right, let's get his face covered. Woo! It's looking cute though, you have to admit. It's a cute little sculpt. You just need a lot longer than an hour. I've got to try and get the back and the front of this one in one go. I love that you guys have got the same sense of humour as me. <laughs> All right, head, head, head. I'm trying to get his head on. This would be much easier in ganache. I cannot express how much easier this would be in ganache. It just slides everywhere. Right, come on, Mr. Raccoon or Mrs. Raccoon, show yourself. I'm going to help myself a little bit. Right, I'm going to over here in a minute. Talk amongst yourselves again. Here we go. Ay ay ay. This is gonna go to its chin. Good thing about being on camera is I can make silly faces and no one notices. Try and get that corner in. The turntable keeps turning, ironically. All right, tool. What does it say? Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just can't do ganache in an hour at all. I'm afraid. This is how it is. Right. Other tools. Let me just grab them quickly. So let's just try and. Bring in some of these. I've got cake here. Oh dear. Bring in some of these features going on. Mine are quite close together and bang in the middle, aren't they? Alright, let's do this. Dead quick. So, oh, into buttercream. Ah, little mouth. Just give me a little line. And then a, quite a roundy nose. Pin in. Mega, mega fast here, guys. Sorry. All right, texture. I'm going to get in close to him because I'm worried about his head falling off, so I'm just going to hold on to him and do it. Raccoon. Some nostrils in here, I'm gonna guess. Freaking tools all over the place. Oh, wrong one. Hmm. 
you can just see his head going flying, can't you? <laughs> Face. The only thing we're missing, apart from his raccoon tail, is. Alright, there we go. Woo! That's covered. More layers. Um, let's put some cheeky little layers on. One. Two. Tail needs to be a bit more pointed, really. I'm, I'm being. Ugh. It's not stressful at all. It's fine. It'd help if I could get to the blimp thing. When you have no time at all, of course, faffing with the pointy edges on his face is absolutely the most important thing you should be doing. It's still cute, though, mind. Right, and then let's put his, his little tail on. I've done that in less than a kilogram, by the way, kids. Okay, you think head is risky. You want to see the risks I'm going to take in a minute. Alright, so there's a little tail. Texture it out. Oh, pick a tool, any tool. That one. Remember, if you're enjoying this, if you like the silliness of this, jump in the group. It's pinned to the top. Lots of sculpty, cakey people hanging out doing very silly things with cake. And no egos, no pretense. It's a really fun place to hang out. And if you really want to have a go yourself, there's a free sculpted cat course on my sculpted school. Again, look at the pinned link. So you don't even have to part with any money to have some fun. I warn you though, it's highly, highly, highly addictive once you realise you can actually do this stuff. Then you'll find, oh, you'll find it's great fun. Right, we'll stop for a minute. Have you still got his head on? Oh dear, hang on, he's gone higher than I think. Here we go. I'm just going to move that aside. Alright, what's my time? Ten minutes to go. Ain't bad, is it? That's not bad for ten minutes. I'm going to sit for a second. How's everybody doing? I'm knackered. I don't know what you lot are doing, all just sitting there on your bums. Okay. Yeah, so the sugar paste uh, will be Sainsbury's or Aldi's. I like nice soft sugar paste. So doing, you can't do this kind of blend work with posh sugar paste. It doesn't like it. It's not designed for it, so you want the soft stuff. Your supermarket's very good at doing that. And if you're not in the UK, you just need to get a few of them and try them and see which one works. You see how he slaps back? I like that. I need a drink. I've not got one. I have got one. My painting water. I will answer one of these. All right, I'm trying to compose myself a little bit because now we've got an airbrush in. Which is gonna suck. Um, oh, holding a rubbish bin. Okay, I've missed that. I don't know how you get so much done set right here. Ah, um, I don't have a lot of time. We've got ten minutes left, but when you're gonna be airbrushing, there's no point airbrushing when you're you're running at speed. So I'm just trying to just breathe a little bit. Um, actually, because he's got jet black eyes, I'm going to put his eyes in now, and then if I catch him with the airbrush, that's going to be good, isn't it? Um, whilst I'm here, I can just muck out these eyes as well a little bit. It'd be alright if it wasn't all the way over there. He's over there because he's got such a good structure on him. So I'm just going to roll two balls into the eyes. Um, I need a little bit of water, the <laughs> water I've just drunk from. Oh well. These cakes don't go anywhere, by the way, of course. 
go in. And all my little girl squishes them. Right, so I'm just gonna make those eyes smaller and then we're going to airbrush in. Now he's got these quite distinctive white patches, but he's got a stripe down his nose that isn't white, so it's not the easiest game. Um, I'm toying between gambling it and seeing what happens and putting a stripe in. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a, um, a bit of a block in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put, whoops, where does it go? I'm gonna put, a, oh, it covers a whole bit, doesn't it? I'm going to put a block there, and I'm going to put a block to the other side, and that means when I airbrush, it won't, hopefully, airbrush those bits, it acts as a block. It's not 100%, but it's, it's pretty good. So that will stop these two bits getting airbrushed. And then, let's put one running across his top as well, across his eyebrows. All right, I'm going to do a bit of this side again, I'm going to pick up the airbrush, I'm going to airbrush him. If you want lessons on airbrush, there are many, many of the online courses that have got airbrush. But also, if you jump in the group, um, I'm happy to answer questions and do, do a little bit of live work. I'm going to start doing some lives in the group as well, so do... Do join the group and then you can come and talk to me about airbrushes. It's not something I can chat through on a live like this, but it is something I absolutely adore my airbrush. So there's many, many. But also, the, so the online courses, each of them has groups and they all have airbrush demos in. Well, if there's airbrush on the online course. All right, I'm going to put these in just to help me out. It might not help me out, but I'll try. All right, good eye, brush it. Wish me luck. I shall see you on the other side.
Okay. We survived that. What do you reckon? Whew. He's alive. <laughs> right. Would you believe it? I've got four minutes left. But what I want to do with that four minutes is give you a bit of an insight. Now, normally you would do this when he's dry. I've got super white here. Whoops, kind of it. And I've got some brown powder. Super white and a bit of, oh, again, throwing it on. And I've got a large-ish dusting brush, okay? Now, normally, as I said, normally you would do this. Oh, my God, it's kicking everything. Normally I do this when this airbrush is dry, but I'll give it a go. Uh, and what I want to do is just add in, I'm going to leave the really wet stuff, is just start adding in some softer browns. And if you look on your picture, obviously when you're doing this you're going to have a lot more time, you will see that he's got areas of brown and he's got like white fur that comes over the top of that grey. So yeah, the grey is in there, <clears throat> even down to, you know, very dark around his face. But you've got actually a lot more mottling than you might, might first realise. So if you haven't got an airbrush, if you've got to this point, you're like, yeah, 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 I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Um, and then you got to airbrush and you go, oh god, I haven't got an airbrush, I don't have to do it. Then look, look what I'm doing with just petal dust, edible petal dust, big soft brush, and some white and some brown. Okay, I'm totally bringing this to life with the dust. So airbrush is awesome, I do love it, but I find that airbrush is only half the story, okay? You then need to work back in and say, when you do this, you're going to be doing it a lot slower, a lot more precise, detailed, and you're going to be able to let it, you know, let it dry in between. Because you don't want to dust wet airbrush, because it just turns the dust into paint, it doesn't it? doesn't achieve what you want it to do. So, wait for your airbrush to dry, and then you can go back in with your dust brushes. And bring him to life. So I reckon that is, even though I've talked for five minutes at the start, that is 8.59. We have a kind of working raccoon baby. Um, if I was doing this for real, I'd obviously put a lot more work into the eyes and stuff, but you know what, it's an hour. What do you reckon? He's cute, isn't he? And there we go. So, right, I will sit here for a couple of minutes. Um, if you guys have got any questions, I'm now watching the comments so I can see. Good evening, Marina. He's quite cute, isn't he? He's almost cartoony with his straight black eyes. He needs a lot more brown around here, but I'm nervous of the wet airbrush. Do you see the thing about me putting those blocks on? Is it stopped the the airbrush getting into it, but it's such a solid line. You have to then go back in with like either your airbrush or your dust just to try and soften it down a bit. Yeah. They're just they're just to give you an idea really. You guys can go away and, and make them much, much better. But it's not bad though, not bad for an hour. Right. So cute. One day we shall coordinate attending the same class together. Oh Laura and Laura. Well, that would make my life easy. I'll just call everyone Laura. So remember, guys, anyone who's watching this, and I know there might be people watching who aren't commenting, who aren't much of the ready for clue, but find the group, if I'm right, it's called, there we go, I've got it in front of me here, look, the Cake Illusion Sculpting School community. Find us. We're a good fun group. There's no ego. There's no hassle. There's no million rules to sign up to. Everyone's a grown-up. It's all good. Uh, in fact, probably no one's a grown up, that's the point, is that everyone's silly. Uh, and also have a look at the online classes. I promise you, if I can do this in an hour, you can do something similar. 
Um, so there's a free class there, free sculpted cat, so you don't even have to put any money down the internet to join us in this very, very addictive game. Uh, there we go, not even just a cake in an hour, but a structured one with airbrush. An absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Carol, yes, this video will be staying and also um, I have a lovely chap called Adrian who um, always takes them turns them into something pretty and puts them on my YouTube channel. So if you are new to me, then the YouTube channel, obviously just type in the Cake Illusionist. Um, all my live sculpts, my one eye live sculpts are on there. And, and people love them. So many people that, that go back and check them out, you know, when they've got just a little cake to do for friends or family or, you know, christening or something. And there's lots and lots of animals that are there on the one eye sculpt and you'll find they're really, really fast clusters to do. Um, I haven't left a bit of white on purpose. I don't know how I did that with an airbrush. It's because it's deep. Uh, it's sort of round the back. Uh, it's just me fast, fast sculpting. Um, fast airbrush. It does look alright though. Yeah, if you want to make him look extra cut, I know I'm past my one out now. What we could always add, if I can reach over. This will really, this will really Disneyfy him. Hang on. Oop. One there. It does look quite Disney, doesn't it? I hope I've not broken any rules by saying that word out loud. Oh, there we go. There we go. So now he's got whites in his eyes as well. But yeah, I think it's the reflection, but I've got whites in his eyes now. Okay. Right, ladies and gentlemen. I have survived. I have survived. You survived. Well, I've got an absolute bomb here. Um, website has tools if you want them. Online group is there. You have 48 hours left on the 50% off code, which is new, yeah, new me, and I will see you, uh, if you're on the, what are we doing, Westie, if you're on the Westie, then I'll be live on Tuesday night, doing the face sculpt for the Westie, so if you want the Westie, or if you're on the Westie, get in the Westie group now, because that'll be the live for that, um, if you are watching this back on YouTube, whenever it's done, then please subscribe, because that way I know you like them, and I'll keep making them, and I need ideas. Chaps, I need ideas for the next one. It will be next month on the last Sunday. Somebody remind me on the Saturday that I've agreed to do it. And come give me ideas. So shout out on here or um, on the community group. Give me ideas for the next one. Perhaps slightly less structured and everything would be good. But uh, yeah, so now you've seen a really nice, simple structure. It's dead easy and it's just helped support his head up. I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to have a lie down and I will see you guys on the group. All right? Take it easy. Bye.